Yeah. And, and it's, um, and I think that the more that I think recently now, after going through what we went through with the, the, the virus situation in 2020, you get a lot of people that are now newly aware that something's going on in, they're in some form of waking up to it and, uh, and they're open. They're open to things not being um, exactly as they appear to be or, or as we were told that they were. And it, they, they recognize there's a problem. They've come to the first major problem that they've seen. They said, well, this whole COVID stuff, there's, there's nothing to it. I mean, this is, this is, there's big messaging problems, scientific li- you know, lies, the media is involved, pharmaceuticals involved. And you go, this just feels like there's, this just feels like a gigantic scam. And you go, yes. Now that you're here, man, would you like to see a, a, a vast array of other scams? If, if, if this has got you frustrated, wait till you hear about this. Or if you recognize this, oh, I think Fauci might be lying. Would you like to know what he was doing in the 80s? Yes, I would. Well, you hear about AIDS, didn't you? Yeah, you know who was in charge of that? Like, no, get out of here. So it's a prime like time for people that are awake from COVID to now start to ask questions. If this was a lie, what else is a lie? And so we're sort of, we almost kind of have a, like a responsibility for those people to kind of let them know, like, don't stop with this one thing. This is the tip of the iceberg. This is just the first massive lie you've come in contact with. There are others. Maybe you need time to process this one and that's fine. Take as much time as you need.